As a 16 year public educator, I know what it's like to be in the trenches. I know the frustration, the overwhelm, the discouragement and the hard work. I also know the successes. The mission of my blog is simple, to help you find your more. More time, more from technology, more student engagement and more hope. Hey guys, and welcome to day seven of Techmas. You might have seen me about an hour ago giving you a beautiful tour of a street in Marietta, Georgia, which is uh, maybe half an hour from where we live. A beautiful street lit up with orbs. So that's your Christmas for tonight, the Christmas part of Techmas. Tonight is a really quick tip, and it's actually about creating embed codes. So let's talk about that. If you're not someone who's familiar with embed codes, they look kind of like this. I'm gonna give you a crazy one right here, okay. If you embed this, you're gonna get my reindeer, so I don't think you probably want that, but <laughs> let me just show you over here in the comments what an embed code looks like. It usually starts with iframe. If it doesn't, a lot of sites and LMSs are not going to accept it. It's kind of a more secure version is what I understand of. Of course, if I'm wrong, my techie people can clarify. I just do that right over here in the chat. I keep pointing at the door, the Wheaties, you know, that direction, <laughs> clarify in the chat. But anyway, let's just say you're on a site that does not have an embed code. Here's the reason you would want one. You have young students. They don't know how to navigate from tab to tab. You've sent them here for a link. You've sent them there. It's just kind of chaotic for them to go to a lot of different places. So if you got this lovely LMS or this Google site or uh, you know whatever platform you're using to deliver content to your students online, why not use embed codes? Because that way you're going to get everything in one location. The kids don't realize a separate site they just realize they can see a brain pop video when they go to your canvas account to your um google site to your schoology account i don't know you know what all accepts embed codes but that concept okay so here's how you do it i have pasted an embed code over here in the um in the comments and let me show you where i got this and i'm gonna go into my phone for a minute i'm just on youtube here and in youtube if i go in front of the in front of the light it's gonna kind of mess me up here but this way you see the word share there? I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it with looking because, you know, okay? And when you click share, one of the options you're gonna get, let me click it again, it went away. One of the options you're gonna get in this box up here. Oh my word, y'all, this is so bizarre. It just keeps clicking things because I'm not looking at it. Okay, try to catch it really fast. Okay, do you see the word embed over there? Okay. One of the options when you get what you get when you try to share a YouTube video is not just the link, but you can get the embed code. I've pasted a sample of that over in the comments window. So what does it have to do with anything? Well, I'm going to give you an example. The other day I was on Vokey and I'm just going to give you guys over in the comments window a link to what Vokey will give you for free. Now it's cute. Okay. Um, and I do use the full length URL. That's going to make a difference if you're going to use this hack in just a minute. So um, I'm going to paste the Vokey link over here. And both people will give you for free, not even with upgrade, and they'll give you a link to this little character. And if you'll click that link when you're ready, that character, like that one's a reindeer and his little eyes will follow you across the screen. And um, you can make him talk. There are educational purposes to it because, you know, maybe you need to make an announcement to your class. It's more fun coming from a reindeer, but the kids are listening. Um, there's a character on there for free, Abraham Lincoln. Maybe the students want to make a project on Vokey where Abraham Lincoln has to talk about the Civil War or his assassination or whatever it is. And so they're really cute. But just having the link, he doesn't, his eyes don't follow you. It's just not that cute. So what I want to do is I want to have my learning management system with a Vokey living in it. I was able to do that using embed code, that direction. So here's my trick. If you'll take that embed code that I pasted in the first comment, okay, and you will see quotation marks where it says SRC for source, source equals, and then you'll see the opening quotation marks, okay? You are going to replace the link for YouTube or whatever it is with your link that does not provide an embed code, okay? Now, I don't mean we're stealing content, content you own, but you don't have embed code for, okay? You're gonna put that where it says source equals. You must keep the quotation marks, okay? And then you're also gonna have closing quotation marks. You must keep those as well, okay? So again, you go to YouTube, click share, click embed, copy that big old crazy code. When you get to the code, you find the YouTube link, keeping the quotation marks, 
and you substitute your link. Then when you go to the HTML view of your learning management system or when you go to a WordPress site or wherever you want to embed this, then you will have embed code that you can use. So here's what I want you to try for me. I want you to think of something you know that your students could use and you don't want them to have to click all over creation to find it. You want them to have a living, breathing, breathing video or whatever it is inside your Canvas course. I want you to try my little hack and tell me by reporting back in the comments what it was that you figured out it could work with. I have used it successfully with Brain Pop. Brain Pop is something my district subscribes to, so I'm not, again, not stealing content, but I don't want students to have to navigate somewhere else to find the video. So YouTube, or I've used YouTube code smashed with Brain Pop link or smashed with Vokey link. I want you to tell me what else you try it with and how it works. Have a great night, guys, and tomorrow, Tech must day eight, and we will be exploring a really cool new tool called Flashcard Factory. Take care. See you later. Hey, guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time, so if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that, and all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.